We now enter the third day of the resumed parliamentary audit of the government that was halted last week due to a boycott by the ruling party. For more on the main talking points from Wednesday, Pak Jiwon reports. Wednesday's parliamentary audit session was given over to a series of corruption allegations surrounding the Mir and K Sports Foundations and the government's role in approving their establishment. Opposition lawmakers grilled officials from the related government agencies to get to the bottom of how the two relatively new foundations could have raised about 65 million U.S. dollars in donations in just about a month or two after their launch. The contributions were known to have come from several of the country's major conglomerates, but it's not known if there were any favors exchanged in the course of the foundation's establishment. The main opposition Minju party vowed to dig deeper into the allegations, pledging to keep investigating even after the audit wraps up on the 19th. The opposition parties also submitted a motion to the parliament secretariat Wednesday afternoon requesting an investigation by a special prosecutor into the case of an activist who died recently. The man had been in a coma for several months after having been knocked down by a police water cannon during an anti-government protest last November. The opposition parties are hoping to discover whether the police use of the water cannon was excessive or illegal and laid to rest any remaining controversies over the case. The proposal needs to win a parliamentary majority to succeed. If approved, the investigation could start sometime after the audit is finished. Meanwhile, ruling Senate Party leader Lee jung hyun who is in the hospital after a week-long hunger strike sparked by a feud over the Assembly Speaker, is reportedly recovering quickly and could return to work as soon as next week. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.